Okay, so in this tutorial, what I'm going to do is show you how to use a particle emitter in After Effects. So let's start by making a new composition. Uh, in this one, I'm just going to make it mm, 10 seconds long, right there. Uh, second thing that you're going to want to do is control click or right click on the timeline and make a solid object. I'm not sure if you can do this with a null object, but I'm just going to use a solid. I have my medium solid. It doesn't matter what color you're going to use there. So I'm going to make sure that I have selected the object in the timeline. And I'm going up to Effect and Simulation and Particle Systems. Okay. And you'll see that the screen turns black there. It's actually transparent. But if I move the playhead ahead slightly, you'll begin to see the, um, the particle effects take place. Now, I really like this because it involves some physics and that sort of thing. Um, if you take a look up in the, the uh, effect controls or in the timeline, you'll see that you know, it has some physics, it has a um, birth rate, it has how long it will last, and then you drop down the producer, and that will change uh, the location and the radius of, of this. Last, uh, second to last, you have physics, which if you increase the velocity, that's sort of like the speed, um, inherent velocity, I don't know, I'm going to skip over that because I have no clue. And then gravity is obviously, you know, the amount of force <coughs> of gravity that is on the particles. Um, and then, of course, you can change the direction. Now, the particle part, you can change from line to star, shaded, sphere, all kinds of different things. Um, and, you know, you, you can actually create lots of different effects with this, um, whether it be like a comet or something exploding or a, a vapor trail or smoke, fire, fire trail. You can do all sorts of stuff with this thing. Um, but on this one, I'm just going to keep, I guess I'll just keep a line. And I'm going to increase my gravity a bit. And then what I'm going to do is show you some of the physics involved with this. So for example, I'm not going to use my transform or my position on my transform um, dropdown, but I'm actually going to use the thing under producer. And if you do that, you'll have the position. I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to create a keyframe there. And the thing that you're going to want to affect, so I'm going to move the playhead forward, then I can sort of move where it's going. And if I want it to, I'll sort of move the oop, move the playhead again, and then I'll <coughs> move the, the beginning of the particle emitter. And you can sort of create things, even off canvas. Um, So you can begin to see some of the benefits of using this position. I'm going to make, make this a little bit different. What happened? I'm still recording on this. Um, so, and there you have it. There's, there's um, particle systems.